Good day everybody, Calvin here again. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to tell the difference between the phases on your household amp panel, especially your stab block panels. Those are the tricky ones. So if you're trying to connect a 240 volt breaker to a panel and you're only getting 120 volts, this might be the video for you. Check it out. Okay, here we are at a mock-up stab block panel. This particular panel is a 100 amp panel. So here we are going to show you in detail of the difference between phases and making sure that you have your 240 volt breaker and appliance tied to the proper phases. So each one of these is a phase. This is phase A and this is phase B. Between the two you have 240 volts. Between just the one and neutral, you have 120 volts. So you do want to make sure when you're installing a breaker that you are on each phase for 240 volts. If you're only 120 volts, then your breaker can be on one phase. And here you are, this is a 20 amp two pole breaker you can see down here it is tied to one on each phase giving this breaker 240 volts off the terminals now if you took this breaker I'll pull it out Sometimes these old stab blocks are a little tricky to get out. So what I usually do is take a screwdriver and just pop it out like I did there. So just put it in there and then pop it out. So you can see the tabs on this breaker connecting one on each phase there. Giving you 240 volts. Now if you took the same breaker you connected it incorrectly you could potentially only get 120 volts you can see both tabs only connecting to one phase so you do want to make sure that you when connecting a stab block 240 volt breaker that you separate between those tabs there, giving you 240 volts. So your connections, one on each phase. Well, there you have it. That's the mystification of installing a stab block 240 volt breaker incorrectly and the difference between the phases. If you enjoyed my video, go ahead to the bottom and hit the subscribe button to be up to date with the new videos that come out and give me a thumbs up. That'd be awesome and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.